Hey there, and welcome to this randomly created little Let's Play series as opposed to what it is. Although when I thought of the idea and I started recording these bits of the story and uh, clips of the boss battles, I didn't see it that way, but I suppose that's what it is. So I'm going to be showing you bits and pieces of the story mode in Red Mystery Dungeon. This is the first boss battle where we go to rescue little Diglett from this asshole Skarmory who thinks, because logic isn't its strong suit, I suppose, that he and its Papa Duck Trio, Daddy Duck Trio, Double D, is causing all the earthquakes that don't let it sleep. I mean, if you don't sleep well, uh, that, that's obviously a problem. You're obviously not going to be in the best of moods if you're tired all the time, but come on, Scar Murray. Uh, a, a Diglett and a Duck Trio can't do all the fucking havoc and chaos that you claim that you're experiencing is keeping you from your sleep. But again, it's just grumpy because it can't sleep well. And here I am using Leer, which is a move that I don't use often in the Pokemon games. Actually, I believe this is the first time I've used it consistently. Although, as of the recording of this gameplay footage, I've already deleted it. So I'm already silver rank and I have learned better moves. And there you go. That's the first boss battle. Skarmory, uh, kind of a cakewalk. He almost KO'd me, but... Um... Uh, it, it was not to be. I have a, I always carry a Reviver Seed or two with me, just in case, but I did not even have to use it. So, Scar Murray as a first boss battle isn't very impressive. And yes, I know, we can't get you. Too bad you don't have vi uh, vines coming out of your body like that fucking lettuce Bulbasaur. Bree. That would be helpful right about now. But I suppose I, I don't have those either. So, I, I can't talk too much, can I? And it's the Magnemites. They come here to rescue our little brown boy who's been abducted by this asshole of a bird. And feet. Diglett have feet. And I bet Doug Drew have feet as well. You believe that? I wonder what they look like. Do they look like human feet? That would be kind of disturbing, wouldn't it? And here's Daddy Duck Trio, Papa Duck Trio, Double D. Always rudely introducing himself by not showing himself first. It's kind of weird, this Duck Trio. And I wonder how the, how Duck Trio work. Do, uh, there's three of them. Does one speak for all three of them, or can they all speak individually? Do they all speak at the same time? I don't know. So questions that we never get the answers to. When we evolve, we are all threesomes, so I could relate, and I wanted to help, says Magnemite. Yeah, you're welcome. We're heroes, aren't we? We're badasses. And we get a nice reward. But wait. Bree has a proposal for you. You helped us out so coolly, so awesomely. Do you want to join our team? Yes. We need extra hands. Because our hands can't do everything. Well, I suppose we don't have hands. We have legs. Short, stubby little legs. And, uh... Do I have claws? Does the Cyndaquil's little pointy finger things count as claws? The breeze? Chikoritas? Oh, no, I'm sorry. And you can't stay with me because I, I like my privacy. Alright? I'm a bit of a hermit. So, I, I can't have others here with me taking out my space i ain't gonna share my bed that's for sure yes we do brie yes we do all right well let's go to this club And that's the first part of this little randomly created series. If you want to see the next parts, be sure to subscribe. There's going to be more and check out the links in the description. So I'll catch you next time.